Well, 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 look at this. We have JP Morgan cutting their price target for Coinbase. Let's go out and sell the stock now, right? JP Morgan is one of the biggest finance institutions in the United States. So, you know, whatever they say, it has to be correct, right? Not so much. Let's break this down. Let me go to this article from investing.com. January 23rd, 2024 is when this article was uploaded to the internet. Here it is. Coinbase slashed at JP. JP Morgan downgraded Coinbase Global to underweight from neutral with a price target of $80. They're looking for the market in Coinbase to go all the way down to 80 bucks. Now, right now, the market in Coinbase is trading at $127.71. Wow. Time to go short the market in Coinbase. The bank acknowledges Coinbase status as the leading U.S. cryptocurrency exchange and a global player in crypto trading and investing. However, the analysts express skepticism about the market's expectations from Bitcoin's ETFs that's been approved. These Bitcoin ETF has been a catalyst to revive the crypto sector. With cryptocurrency prices, including Bitcoin, already facing downward pressure, the analysts anticipate a potential decrease in enthusiasm for cryptocurrency ETFs. This could lead to lower token prices, reduced trading volumes, and diminished revenue opportunities for Coinbase. The key word in that whole sentence is could. Meaning that it could happen. It's possible that it may happen, but then there's also the other side that it will happen. Despite Coinbase's exceptional performance in 2023, the stock ended up 390% compared to the S&P 500's 26% gain. The analysts foresee 2024 as a more challenging year for the company's stock. This outlook is despite Coinbase's ongoing progress in various initiatives such as development of derivatives and its layer 2 base. The shares of Coinbase fell more percent pre-market today as Bitcoin price slipped. So, you're trying to tell me that JP Morgan gets paid all of this money to research stocks. And the reason why they think Coinbase is going to go down to $80 is because the skepticism of the enthusiasm of cryptocurrency is going to wane. It's going to go down. That's it. Is that what you're trying to tell me, investing.com, off this article? Are you serious? Did they write this to their client base to go out and drop a price target of 80 bucks all because they think that cryptocurrency trading is going to go down? Man, let's look at the stock because that's asinine to garner a price prediction of $80 off of the notion that people ain't going to be trading the markets like that within a cryptocurrency space. When this article even tells you that Coinbase is not strictly focused on just cryptocurrencies and the trading of cryptocurrencies, they're focused also on derivatives and layer two, they are branching out into their business structure. Because they understand that cryptocurrency trading is not going to be at the high all the time. They know that it's going to wane. They know that the, it's going to go down. You're going to have your ebbs and flows and how you're going to see the volumes of trading hitting your exchange. Coinbase knows that. That's why they're trying to create other ways of creating revenue. Why did not JP Morgan go into that too often? They really didn't speak about that as to how them branching out into different areas to increase revenue could actually offset the lack of trading on their cryptocurrency exchange. So that's why we come through and look at the price. What do you guys think? $80 is where JP Morgan is looking for price to go in Coinbase. That takes us back to this trend line. 
That's a 38% drop. Is it possible? Anything's possible. So maybe without throughout 2024, yeah, we can see the market run down to $80. That's 38, 39% move lower. Now we've already anticipated that the price action in Coinbase was already weak. And you can see from our price prediction that Coinbase has actually came and hit our hit our buy zones. Both of them. First one was hit in the market two days ago, hit our second buy zone. So now the question is, that's 15.69%. So now the question is, will the buyers continue to hold this buy zone? If that's the case, then we will see the market take longer to run down to $80 because we're suspecting that the market's going to begin to bounce and potentially go higher. But in fact, we all can see here that yes, the trend currently in Coinbase is down. The price action in Coinbase is weak. I don't like the three day chart neither for a, a hint of being bullish. I don't like that, especially on this three day bar right there. I don't like that at all. What about on the five? Even here on the five day. So yeah, we're definitely still seeing a lot of weakness into the market in Coinbase. Look at that on the two weeks. Now they're looking for $80 JP, but we may actually see the market trying to hold support a little bit higher than that. Yeah, I don't like that three weekly neither as week two. So their analysis of cutting their price target in Coinbase seems logical off of the price chart. So let's get back to it and try to figure out, okay, where could the buyers be in Coinbase? This market was on a run back here in the ending of 2023, a massive run. Let's go ahead and put these on the chart first. Okay, so that's my next buy zone there. Here's my other buy zone. And then like JP said, around $80. I'm a little bit higher than 80, like 85. So now that means that we're not gonna look for price in Coinbase to really hold this area long. It's holding it now. It's giving people opportunity to, you know, come through and sell out their position or at least try to minimize the losses that they may be in. But I don't think we're through with prices going down in Coinbase. We're gonna create another sell zone. That's a sell zone there into the market in Coinbase. So yeah, we can see the market run back up to like 140 and then begin another dissension down in price. So let me go ahead and put these targets on and we'll be finished. So we got our resistance area around 140. That is 13 and a quarter percent there. First target is going to be down here around 100 and one. That is 18 and a half percent move lower there. Then our second target is going to be here around 88, 89, which is 28 and a half. Now I'm going to hold this first buy zone because I want you all to see whether or not the market continues to hold that. Because if it does, then we may need to go ahead and cut this price prediction and play the move to the upside. Just saying. So let's go ahead and do that. We're done. You guys are up. Give me your thoughts about Coinbase. And do you guys think that JP Morgan is correct? Makes you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.